Hey guys and welcome back. This is another video to help you on your next attempt at the ASVAB. This is going to be covering some questions on the mathematical knowledge. And I'm not here to waste your time, so let's dive right in. So 28 is just a rounding question, so you have to know what each of the places are named after the decimal point. Well, let's go through them. The first one after the decimal is the tenths, then the hundredths, then the thousandths, and then the ten thousandths. So if we're rounding to the nearest hundredths, that would be this guy right here. So we check to see the next number. Is it five or larger? If it is, increase this guy by one. In this case, it's not five or larger, so that just stays the same. Meaning our final answer should be 0.78, which is B. So number 29 is just seeing if you can keep all your numbers aligned with the decimal point. So if I'm starting all the way furthest to the right, that would be this guy being three numbers to the right of the decimal point. So if I do that, I'm going to rewrite that three. Well, the next one over, we actually have two that are two away, six and the eight. So eight plus six is going to give me 14. So I'm going to put the four and carry the one. This zero is not going to add anything. So that one plus the three right here is going to give me a total of four. We now have our decimal place. And the only numbers we have in front of the decimals is the 14 and the 2. If I add those together, it gives me 16. So our final answer should be 16.443, which is B. Number 30 is seeing if you know how to carry over when you have missing digits in your numbers. So we're doing 1.5 minus this 0.188 down here. So in order for us to do this, we would need to first off cancel out this 5, change it to a 4, and carry a 10 over to the next place. Now I would go ahead and subtract here, but I know that I also need to cancel that out, make it into a 9, because I have to carry a 1 over into this place so that we can do our subtraction. Now that we have our numbers, we can just subtract straight down, 10 minus 8 is going to give me 2, 9 minus 8 gives me 1, 4 minus 1 gives me 3, and we still have that 1 out front, giving us a final answer of D. I guess the ASVAB just doesn't trust our skills with decimals, because this seems like another pretty easy question. I'm just going to go from left to right, since subtraction and addition are in the same order for PEMDAS. So 12 minus the 0.92 is going to give me 11.08. And then from there, I still have to add that 4.6. Now, when we do that, the 6 does not go with the 8. It goes with the 0. So we're looking at 11 plus 4, which is 15. And then we have the 0.68 from the 6 here, the 8 here, for a final answer of C. So the ASVAB is all about speed, and in this case, they're seeing if you know the trick that if you ever multiply by a multiple of 10, you just move the decimal to the right for every zero in whatever number you're multiplying by. So in this case, there's one, two, three, four, four zeros. So if I have 2.39, I'm going to move that over one, two, three, four, and fill in zeros for the ones I don't have, giving me a final answer of 23,900, which is answer C. So we're going to multiply from right to left here and then make sure that our decimal point lines up. So 5 times 3 is going to give us 15, but we're going to carry that 1. 5 times 6 gives me 30, but with that 1, it makes it 31, carry the 3. And then we're just multiplying by 0 the rest of the way. So that 3 will come down, but so will this 0 point another 0. So looking at this, our answer is A. 45% is equal to what fraction? Well, 45% is essentially the same thing as 45 over 100. So what we're looking at here is a number that divides both of them. Because it ends in a 5 and 0, I'm going to start with just dividing by 5, because I know those easily. 45 divided by 5 is going to give me 9, and 100 divided by 5 is going to give me 20. Looking at our answers, that's already answer D, so we're good to go. 0.925 is equal to what percent? Well, to switch decimals to percent, you just move the decimal to the right twice. So this would be 92.5%, which is answer B. What is 12% of 60? Well, I know that 10% of 60 is 6, so it's just going to be slightly bigger than that. The only option here that fulfills that is B. So 42 is 28% of what number? Well, I know that 70 is going to be way too small because 42 is over 50% of that. And this guy's just way too big because it's going to be nowhere near 28%. So it's between these two. Now, what you can recognize right here is that 420 is divisible by 28 because that's going to give us 15. That means whichever answer has a 1, 5 in it would be correct, which is going to be answer B. If you didn't know, I'm doing these videos for free, so how about you help a man out and hit the like button below. It helps me know how many people are actually engaging with this video, and it helps me see how many of you make it to the end. With that said, have a fantastic day. I wish you best of luck on your next attempt at the ASVAB. My name is Daniel Caproni, and this has been your ASVAB Help.